Ever wondered how solid-state batteries differ from lithium batteries? Some say they'll replace lithium, let's dive into the tech. Lithium batteries have a cathode, an anode, and a permeable polymer separator, filled with liquid electrolyte. The positive use is NMC or LFP, the negative is graphite. Charging, lithium ions move from positive to negative. Discharging, they return, electrons flow outside, creating current. But here's the catch. The electrolyte is flammable, leaks can spark explosions. It takes up space, in cold, it thickens, slowing the battery down. Plus, dendrite growth can pierce the separator, causing shorts. Solid-state batteries ditch flammable liquid electrolyte for solids. Engineers tested all kinds. Sulfides, fired into a glassy state at high heat, and cooled to form lithium-ion highways. Oxides, like tough ceramics, stable even in extreme heat. And flexible polymers, weaving a net to trap lithium ions. These solids don't burn or leak, short circuits. No problem. Safety source. Boosting storage capacity noticeably, with faster charging too. The anode can even switch to lithium metal, with 3,860 milliamp hours per G capacity. 10 times graphites, like a supercharged power tank. Safety, solid state winds, no thermal runaway. Plus high temp separators, far beyond lithium. Challenges, high interface resistance, costly, tough to scale. Sulfide electrolytes cost three times more than gold and release toxic hydrogen sulfide when exposed to water, requiring production in conditions 100 times drier than a desert. Oxide electrolytes demand intense energy, 300 kilowatt hours per hour for sintering, making them 260 times more expensive than standard lithium batteries. Solid-liquid hybrid batteries are now in production, full solid state awaits us.